Imagine, if you will, that you're walking through a greenhouse. Now you're looking to your left and your right and you see all these beautiful, vibrant flowers everywhere. You spot something vibrant and yellow that's not supposed to be there. Now this could be a dandelion. And as a dandelion continues to grow in this greenhouse, it'll begin dying and shedding its seeds into the air. Those seeds are gonna be transported throughout the greenhouse, carried by various air currents. And if they land in flower beds at distant locations, so in the far corner of a garden, you can have new dandelions that grow in that location and contaminate the flower bed. So this is a process that also happens as a cancerous tumor begins to grow. One rogue cell can very quickly grow and divide and develop into a tumor. Now as that tumor continues to grow, it begins to shed its own cells into the blood. Much like the seeds that were carried throughout the greenhouse by the air, these seeds of cancer will be carried throughout the body by the blood. So the focus of my research is to develop a new method to listen for and detect the presence of these cancer seeds in a sample of blood. Now to do that, I use a technique called photoacoustics, which is literally just combining light and sound. And it's a little bit like playing the drums. So when you strike a drum with a drumstick, the drum will vibrate and produce a sound. Now, the type of sound that's produced by that drum depends on both the drum's size and shape. My case is a little bit different from playing the drums, but the idea remains the same. When you strike a cell or an object with a laser beam, that cell begins to heat up. And as things heat up, they begin to expand. Now, if that expansion is rapid enough, then it produces a sound wave. Now, the sound waves that are produced by, for example, cells are at frequencies much higher than those that the human ear can hear. And so we have to use a specialized microphone to record these sounds, and then we can do analysis offline using a computer software. So a lot of the work that's currently done on finding the seeds of cancer is all based on optics. So you would use a device that would stain a cell um, and tag it with specific markers, and then image all these cells, and it's a very labor-intensive process. Our technique using photoacoustics has the potential to be used without the use of any markers or any labeling reagents. So the big idea eventually is to spike cancer cells into a sample of blood and run the sample of blood through a customized device that we're developing and listen for the presence of cancer cells in a sample of healthy human blood. At that point, if that works well, then we can begin clinical trials. Again, this is far down the road. Um, and we can actually analyze cancer patients' blood for the presence of cancer cells. My name is Mike Moore. I am a PhD candidate in the biomedical physics program at Ryerson University, and I listen for the seeds of cancer.